Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, this eMarketeer Academy webinar. Uh, my name is Klaus, and I'll be hosting the webinar today. And I really want to thank you for joining. Uh, it's going to be an exciting webinar, hopefully. We're going to talk about some launches, some new features to eMarketeer and to eMarketeer for SuperOffice. So uh, I can't wait to, uh, to show you guys what uh, we've been building for you, uh, whether you are already an eMarketeer and SuperOffice client or whether you are just really curious. I hope that's, uh, that there's uh, something here for you today. I'm going to go ahead and share my slides there and get going. All right, so as mentioned, my name is Klaus. I uh, work with product marketing and our partners in uh, the eMarketeer and SuperOffice ecosystem. Uh, so I'm guessing much like you, I work with marketing and with sales, and I'm really focusing on how we can generate leads and how we can best turn these leads into customers. So bridging that gap between marketing and sales is really what's on our mind mm -hmm. with the stuff that we've been building and what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day as well. Um, we are going to talk a lot about lead management and what that means in the sense of sales and marketing teams working together, as well as how you practically manage that in a CRM system and a marketing automation system such as SuperOffice and eMarketeer. Uh, so that's obviously going to be our focal point today. Um, the agenda is pretty straightforward. We'll be introducing lead management and talk a little bit about why we built all these lead management features uh, and then look at how they work in SuperOffice and in eMarketeer and then talk a little bit about the road ahead. I'll be hinting at um, hinting at what we will be uh, launching um, further down the line before summer uh, this year. So stay, stay tuned for, for that as well. Um, I'm going to record the webinar, so don't worry, worry about screen grabbing. You can always watch the recording and hopefully share it with some colleagues across the sales and marketing teams. Um, everybody will be muted, but I really encourage you to use the questions box and keep me busy answering your questions or simply just feeding me some feedback on what you're seeing today, whether you think <clears throat> whether you think this is useful, whether you think this is uh, whatever. I mean, let me know what you feel and think about what you're seeing today. And of course, ask me questions. Also, if you want to try in your organization what you're seeing today, let me know in the questions box as well. The features that we're releasing need to be enabled in your super office and e-marketeer environment. And uh, you can get going pretty quite quickly by just letting me know in the questions box that you would like to test this out in your organization. All right, so without further ado, let's get started and discuss how we ended up here, so to say. Why have we focused in the last year and a half, two years on turning marketing activities, turning marketing events and campaigns into something meaningful for sales. You can say we've been doing that for 20 years with the eMarketeer, but really in the last two years, we've been focusing a lot on leads and how to qualify leads, how to score leads, how to filter leads. And uh, the reason for that is really that we've been doing hundreds and hundreds of implementations of eMarketeer for super office customers. And time and time again, the marketing team finds eMarketeer great for doing marketing activities, marketing campaigns, targeting the right target groups and so on. But handing the results of the marketing over to sales has somewhat been challenging. So we're learning that a lot of you guys are struggling with managing leads so handing leads over effectively from marketing to sales and aligning sales and marketing ni nicely together so that we're sure that we're looking at the same reality in the two teams, that marketing and sales are really on the same page with regards to what is a qualified leads, where do my leads end up, where can I follow up on the activity that marketing is generating. So we've been focused on uh, uh, lead generation and, uh, and the purpose of marketing being lead generation for, uh, for, for 20 years, but now we are even more committed to making it easier to hand those leads over to sales. And that's what we'll be, uh, be um, uh, showing you today. 
Um, so if you've uh, popped by our website recently, you've also seen uh, kind of a facelift there and, and our focus on leads is all over the place now. Uh, so uh, those last two years of product development with the lead scoring and the filtering and, and those capabilities are really coming to uh, coming full circle now with the introduction of lead management features. Uh, so we still believe that is unwavering that the purpose of marketing is to generate leads to sales. Other than that, you know, uh, why are we here? Grow the business by keeping customers around for longer, making them buy more and bringing in new customers. And that's what marketing is all about for the uh, for the sales team and the organization. And when we ask, well, we haven't, but when, when big surveys ask marketing and sales heads what their top priorities are, the first one is generating more leads, so lead generation. The second one is converting those leads to customers and revenue, so lead management. And the third one is actually making sure, again, that these teams are on the same page, so aligning the sales and marketing teams. And we've kind of taken these three priorities of lead gen, lead management, and sales and marketing alignment close to heart and build product for, for just that. <clears throat> and when you look at these three, uh, how they how they kind of tie together and where they play in, the, the first one is what you typically uh, think about as marketing, the lead generation aspect is figuring out who's out there, uh, potential buyers, nurturing them and qualifying them. Uh, and, and, and creating new leads in your uh, in the top of your, your funnel there. And then handing them over to sales uh, so that sales can uh, find out what they've been doing on their customer journey, uh, further qualify the prospects, making them sales qualified and start building opportunities on them and really managing the leads in the, uh, in the chasm between sales and marketing there. And then lastly, sales and marketing alignment, making sure that we can align the goals and the realities of the sales and marketing team so that we're talking about the same thing. Have these good discussions with our colleagues in sales and marketing. What is a qualified lead for you? You work in the Swedish sales team with a specific product area as your responsibility. How can I best supply you with leads that are meaningful to you? And if you work in the Norwegian team for a different product vertical, how can I best supply the leads that are relevant to you? So those are the uh, the, um, the um, dialogues that the sales and marketing teams needs to be having and to make sure that they can see the same end result. We want to bring them together on, on the lead board, as I will be, be, be showing you. Uh, so looking at the eMarketeer platform as you know it, with uh, the lead gen, the lead management, and the sales and marketing alignment, and in the middle there, we are all focused on growth, and we're all focused on being able to keep customers around for longer and bring new customers in. So on the lead generation side of things, we have all of the components that you are maybe familiar with from eMarketeer, all of your email campaigns and events and uh, mobile marketing and landing pages, all of the stuff that you've built and automate and measure on in, in eMarketeer. And then we introduced lead scoring and filtering capabilities to create really targeted lists uh, a little over a year ago. And now we're coming full circle with the lead management features uh, that I'll be showing you today, being able to create specific lead views or lead boards for your sales teams, um, uh, bringing much more company and per contact information into play here, showing what a contact has done and what a company has done, bringing news and, and performance uh, reports into play here as part of the lead management. And then finally, aligning those two teams with shared insights across the marketing and the and the CRM platform. So everything play, plays nicely together. And again, our um, uh, our um, uh, thoughts about where marketing and sales teams should work hasn't changed. So all of the stuff that I'm talking about here is available both on the eMarketeer side of things and integrated deeply into SuperOffice. So the SuperOffice sales reps, key account managers, and so on, they won't have to leave SuperOffice at all. Everything that they should be focusing on with regards to their leads is all uh, is all inside the, uh, the SuperOffice there. Uh, all right. So... If, we've, if you've been on a webinar with me before, you know about the customer journey, obviously, that I've talked about time and time again, where marketing used to possess the first part uh, of the marketing journey or the customer journey. But now with, the, with so much of the um, 
customer journey taking place in the marketing realm with content marketing, inbound, outbound, ads, webinars, videos, uh, white papers, uh, content marketing, and all of these pieces. The, uh, the marketing teams uh, kind of control or steward a larger piece of the customer journey. And if we aren't really careful making sure that our sales colleagues know exactly what's going on with their customers and their leads, they're kind of left in the dark. So when we talk about sales and marketing alignment, it's really bringing these two together so that if you work in sales and you pick up a new lead, you should be able to see everything that that lead has done in their customer journey from the, when we first got to know them all the way through to you are ready to book a meeting or make a call with them uh, so that they can really see everything that's been going on there. Uh, so on the eMarketer platform, uh, we have all of the uh, the different components, as you know. We've added the lead board and the marketing timelines for companies and contacts. And these obviously flow right into SuperOffice. Uh, so you have all of the building blocks for your marketing campaigns, as you know them, uh, and the lead scoring and the filtering, uh, the marketing automation, making sure that everything runs on autopilot and everything is scored and qualified based on your requirements that feeds right into super office and ends up on the lead board and the timelines as i'll be showing you so um, a lot of this is familiar but a lot of things are going to change for the better as well inside super office uh, I think it, uh, it's cool that the, the, the introduction of this and the, the, the conclusion of this work with the, with the lead management uh, kind of ended late last year uh, when we started piloting this with uh, our first customers because it marked the 10-year anniversary of our, of our super office certification. And uh, we, we kind of celebrated that by, by topping the, the App Store as the most popular app on the super office App Store. So um, I don't know if it's even a humble brag, but we're immensely proud of the history and the relationship we have with super office and all of our super office online customers and super office on-premise customers. So without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty and introduce the lead management features. And this is where I hope that your questions also would guide the, the dialogue here. So do send me your questions in the questions box or just your feedback. Um, and uh, and um, I will try to pick up questions as we go. Also, let me know if you'd like to try this in your organization. So first of all, let's look at the lead board and the features that are associated with the lead board. And a bit of terminology here, if you will, because if we look at, at the process of becoming a lead and what that means, right? Let me just uh, hide the slide here for a second. So let's let's discuss with sales here. Let's talk about why is it important for you guys to get the right leads on a meaningful and effective way, right? So if I work in the Swedish sales team, as I mentioned before, and I work with a specific product vertical as my responsibility, um, I'd like to tell my colleagues in marketing, you know what, I don't want to see all leads. I want to see the leads from my region. And I want to see the leads that have been interested or have been active in the campaigns that are focusing on my pro the products that I'm responsible for, right? It doesn't make any sense for me to see leads from Belgium or Denmark or Germany because they're not within my area. And, it doesn't, and I don't want to see uh, leads that are active in campaigns that have nothing to do with the products that I'm selling. So I have these dialogues with my sales colleagues and the different sales teams organized around products or geography or however you do it in your organization. And you want to make sure that the leads that marketing uh, that they're handing over to you um, are in alignment with what you're working on. So it's just not a matter of showing everything to everybody. It's, it's a matter of being really, really focused with what we're handing over to you in sales and in super office. So let's look and, and bring back the, the screen here and look at the lead process here. So again, we've got the marketing team. <clears throat> they're building marketing campaigns. They're doing events. They're uh, communicating across channels, inbound, outbound, from ads, email campaigns, all the works, right? All of the marketing campaigns are shooting left, right, and center. Now, these marketing campaigns, they generate some activities. Some are interesting to some people. Some are interesting to other people, depending on what region, what product, and so on, as I just mentioned. So we decide which uh, leads should go to which sales teams and we do that with lead streams so I can decide based on profile or based on behavior or based on lead score which leads should go to which sales teams so that the sales teams in Finland gets the leads that are relevant for them 
based on geography, or the Norwegian team focusing on product A gets the right leads, and the ones that are focusing on product B should get the right leads, right? And all of the different sales teams get their own lead board. So as a salesperson, I log into SuperOffice and I see my lead board, and the leads that are there are relevant to me because I belong to a specific sales team, and that sales team gets lead from specific lead streams. So as the marketing um, engine starts running, uh, the leads will go through the different customer um, uh, lead nurturing processes and marketing campaigns, and they will flow through the right streams to the right teams. And me, as a salesperson, I'll be looking at the lead board with the leads that make sense to me, right? So that's really the essence of figuring out with your colleagues what makes sense for you as a lead and how can I best supply you with the right leads right inside the CRM there. So that's the thought pattern here. So obviously we've had to build a lot of cool stuff. Obviously the lead board, which is the tip of the iceberg where you're working and seeing your leads, but also the ability to create sales teams, create lead streams and so on. And it's all ready for you guys to start digging into now. So let's look at the uh, the lead board, which is uh, where you will be working with the leads inside SuperOffice or any marketer, depending on where you where you enter. <clears throat> uh, the lead board is a Kanban style board where you can drag and drop leads around. So all of the leads will end up as marketing qualified leads, um, and you will be showing the marketing qualified leads that are relevant for your sales team. Again, we don't want to show everything to everybody. And here you can drag and drop the leads around, moving them through the different stages of, uh, of qualification there. You can assign leads to yourself or to your colleagues. If they're already in SuperOffice and you're already the owner of that lead, you will be auto-assigned to the lead. If it's not in SuperOffice, you can quickly click to share the lead into the CRM system, meaning that you will create the company and the contact and bringing the, their history from the customer journey straight into SuperOffice without any manual data entry. You can see the engagement history, so everything the lead has done from cradle to grave, uh, or at least from we first got to know them, uh, across all of your marketing channels. You can you look at their lead score, and you can look at your different lead streams. All right, so let's look at the lead board and the different uh, views. I will do some hands-on as well in uh, SuperOffice in just a moment. So the lead board is, uh, you'll get a navigator button in SuperOffice and that will open up the lead board right in your SuperOffice here. And again, in this case, I'm logged in as the Swedish uh, team member of the Swedish sales teams. And these are the leads that are relevant for me. My Norwegian colleagues, they will log in and see a different lead board because, well, those leads are relevant for them. And here I can see the different streams. I can see which leads are marketing qualified. I can move them into the sales qualified column, opportunity. And when I win leads over to customers, I can put them into the one column. Uh, there's also a lost column here because I guess we don't have a 100% conversion rate. As you can see, we've made the one column bigger because we believe in you guys. Uh, I can filter the leads and I will show you more on all of that. From the get-go here, you can see profile images, logos, titles. You can see if they're already in SuperOffice. You can see their lead score, if they've been assigned to somebody. So you just get a ton of information just from the view here on the lead board. You can also go into a funnel view where you can see the performance of your team, how you're converting quali mining qualified leads to sales qualified leads to opportunities and to one sales. And you can also see the individual team member performance there. For sales, it's great to be able to watch the performance here per individual and per, per team. Uh, and for marketing, it's great to be able to compare your different lead streams, let's say leads from my website versus leads from uh, our webinars. I can see how they convert, which lead stream, which lead category, if you will, uh, converts better than others. Um, when I open up a lead, I can look at their contact card. I can see what they've been doing. I can see a lot of information from social media profiles, biographies, their lead score over time, and much more. I'll show you that when we get into uh, get into the demo. Uh, and from the uh, contact view, I can also view, look at the company view. So that will show me aggregated all of the employees that are active in my marketing campaigns from this company what have they been doing so i get an aggregate score of all of the uh, contacts that work in this company i can see who they are and what they've done and i can see which campaigns they're active in so a lot of information on the lead board <clears throat> 
We are also introducing new timelines. So if you're if you're already familiar with the SuperOffice uh, and email in SuperOffice, you will know the, uh, the the side panel there that we've been using for the contact timeline. We've really beefed that up with a lot of new information in the side panel here. So when you're on an active contact, the side panel will show everything that has happened in the customer journey on the marketing side with that person. Uh, profile limits, biography, social media profiles, lead score, and all of the history that the person has left behind in our marketing campaigns with newsletters which campaigns which webinars and so on the contact has been active in everything that you can measure in email marketing lead score over time biography from linkedin and so on so a lot of information gathered in this view um, what we're also introducing uh, now is a company view so if you click company it will again show a side panel of the company and all of the employees at that company that have been active in your marketing. So you will get an aggregate lead score of all of the persons, uh, biography of the company, uh, the lead score over time, uh, who's active in the marketing campaigns, you'll get a, a, some ge geography and map of their offices, you'll get a screenshot from their website, contacts that are active, and from here you can click right to the company to the contact timeline as well, so you can dig into the individuals that are on the timeline here. You'll also see a list of news from the company, uh, so you have a little bit of a research window there as well. So this area is really cramped with information that adds in, uh, and empowers you as a super office user looking at a company, getting ready to book that meeting or reach out to them. You have all of this information on the side panel, uh, really looking into everything that's happened across the marketing channels there. Okay, so let's dive into super office and see what it looks like <clears throat> on the uh, on the lead board. Um, so. Let me just open up the lead board here. So you'll see I'm in SuperOffice uh, and working with the, the CRM just as I'm used to, but I will get a new navigator button called lead board. And from there, the lead board will open depending on who I am and what I have access to. So in this case, it can see that I'm a member of the Swedish team and I can see my teammates over here and I have the leads that are relevant for me and my colleagues there. If I'm a member of several sales teams, I can click the uh, the uh, team view here and take another lead board that I'm also a member of. I can see all of the different lead streams. So again, these are the leads that are relevant for the Swedish team. I can see uh, who's uh, filled out the contact us, the demo request, uh, an ebook download, or just Swedish leads with a score of over 100. So as you can see, I can slice and dice the view and focus in on a specific portion of the leads, or I can just look at all of the leads in my stream. I can look at all leads, my leads, I can look at different contact categories, so for instance, only prospects. I can do a search for a specific lead, and I can select which date, um, time, uh, or date period here I would like to look at uh, for the lead board here. And then in the, in the board itself, I have the marketing qualified leads. I can see the contacts, the logos, company names. I can see which lead streams they belong to, if they're already in super office, who's assigned, and so on. I can see the different columns, marketing qualified, sales qualified, opportunity, and I can move leads from one column into the other uh, just by dragging and dropping um, into the right column here, and it will update. So as I work with the leads, I can move them through my uh, stages here in my, my sales funnel, and I can convert leads as I go along here. When I opened up a company card, or a contact card, sorry. Uh, there is a lot of information here available to me. Um, lead, the contact card will try to fetch a profile image, title, social media profiles, uh, all of that stuff, um, biography. I can see what has happened on the lead board when they entered a lead stream, whether they've been qualified, who's assigned them, and so on. So I can see the, the history here on the lead board, what's been going on. I can also click to contact, uh, so I can call or email. And I can see the lead score over time, and I can see which scoring rules have added to Frida's lead score here. I can also click to see her engagement, so I can see everything that Frida has done in my campaign. 
Um, she's been active on a web page. I should filled out a form, visited the web page, newsletter activity, and so on. And I can open up all these panels and see exactly what Frida has done in her um, in her um, uh, time uh, in, my, in, a, in in her customer journey. Sorry about that. Um, I can also uh, go ahead and change her uh, category here. So if she's not a prospect, she's actually a customer already. I can go ahead and change that. And I can assign Frida to another sales rep here if I want to. If Frida doesn't exist in SuperOffice, I can share to CRM and that will give me the opportunity to create a new company, link to an existing company or create the contact only. So without a company. And then I can create the company and the person and bring in all the information we have right into the CRM here without needing to manually enter anything. I can also click the company view here and I will get the company view. And again, this is the aggregate of all of the persons working in this company. Uh, so I can see the company biography, the, uh, year, uh, the size, the uh, age, uh, address, the social media profiles of the company, the contacts that are working there and uh, which campaigns the different contacts have been active in. So a really good view on the uh, colleagues of Frida that are also active in our marketing. From here, I can just click a person to get back to the contact card. And when I need, I can just close the contact card there. Um, here's a question about from uh, Emil about uh, GDPR. He says, seems really useful. I'm glad you like it, Emil. Is all of this GDPR compliant? Um, first of all, when you save a contact or track a contact in eMarketeer, you ask for the consent to store and to market for that person. So when you when you sub, uh, when somebody submits a form, uh, you capture their their consent as part of that form fulfillment. You have their consent to um, uh, market to them and to store their information. Um, how uh, when it comes to website tracking and tra tracking uh, traffic, uh, it comes down to your cookie consent settings on your website. So when you enter your website, typically a, a pop-up uh, arrives where it asks whether you're okay with cookies being set. If they give consent, the tracking cookie can be set and we can track their behavior. So yes, I mean, we're absolutely GDPR compliant. Uh, also, when it comes to consent management from eMarketeer to SuperOffice, we have a sync there. So if somebody um, uh, signs up and gives consent in eMarketeer, that consent is carried over to SuperOffice. If they withdraw their consent uh, in eMarketeer or somebody in SuperOffice withdraws the consent of the contact, it will sync back. So we have really good tabs on the consent from one system into the other. Um, right. So. This is the lead board. And again, this is where you'll be working with the leads that are qualified for you, moving them through the stages. You can see your own leads, all of your team's leads, and you can look at the, um, uh, you can look at the uh, funnel view uh, where you can see the performance from the marketing qualified leads through to sales qualified opportunities and so on. And you can see the conversion rates and your individual team members. Again, for a sales team and for sales managers, this is an opportunity for learning, see who's doing well, what can we learn from, are there some best practices. As a marketer, I can look at my different lead streams and see the conversion rates from lead stream to lead stream. So for instance, let's say that the ebook downloads have a really good conversion rate from uh, sales qualified to opportunities or for opportunities to one leads versus maybe the demo request uh, or the uh, the contact us, they have a lower conversion rate. So I can compare my different lead sources or lead streams with how they convert. So that's great for the marketing team as well. So just really good views here for both the sales and the, uh, the marketing person. Um, when I'm looking at a lead, let me bring up Frida again here. Uh, it said share to CRM if she's not there. If the lead is already there in, in the CRM, uh, either from the lead board or from previous uh, contact, I can simply click open in CRM and the contact will open right inside SuperOffice. Uh, so I, I, I won't leave to a new tab or a new browser. I'm really living inside uh, the super office environment here which is which is the key of bringing sales and account managers into uh into the lead process here in an effective way handing them over where they work with their leads uh, uh, already uh let's bring up a contact uh i'm going to look at amanda here 
and uh, look at her timeline. So this is the new timeline that I mentioned. Um, so let's see. So this is the new side panel, uh, what we call the timeline or the contact summary, where I can see a uh, profile image, lead score, uh, profile information. Now, this is just a demo contact, obviously, but her uh, social media profiles would be linked there as well if we can find them. And I have all of the marketing engagement that she has had in our campaign. So I can see everything that's been going on across campaigns uh, across uh, time here and across my marketing channels. I can click to open to see exactly how did the emails look, how did the invites look, how did the campaign components look. So I don't need to ask my colleagues in sales uh, or in marketing, which campaign did we run and has she been active? I can simply see all of her different touch points there. I can see her lead score over time, uh, see how her lead score has developed, what triggers have added to her score and so on. I can also look at her company so looking at the entirety of this demo company, it will give me the uh, company profile, uh, aggregated score, geography, uh, website, screenshot, lead, uh, lead score over time, and all of the different persons that have been active in my marketing and all of the different campaigns that they've been active in. And lastly, some news from their Twitter feed uh, that I can have a look at. So really nice side panel there for salespeople to look at from the contact perspective or from the company perspective, bringing in a wealth of information uh, uh, to uh, into this view here uh, alongside all of your own uh, notes and um, activities and documents and so on. So here is, I've just pulled up myself here, so you can see it picks up the, my bio biography from LinkedIn, uh, my LinkedIn profile, uh, profile image, and so on, and then all of the stuff that I've been doing uh, in this uh, demo account. Okay, so that's the lead board where you'll be working with your leads and your um, um, contacts uh, in, the, in the lead board. In addition, we've brought on a wealth of by the way, if you have any questions, you want to try it out, yada, 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 all of that stuff, let me know in the, uh, in the questions box there. Um, there is a, a whole slew of other associated features that I will just briefly mention because when you start working with Leadboard, these things will be available to you as well. Um, to bring sales into the Leadboard, we've, uh, we've created this new week, new leads email. So every Monday, a, uh, the sales, uh, the Leadboard users will get an email with uh, a list of the leads that are on their lead board, their lead score, uh, logo, company, and so on. And there will be a little snippet of the um, uh, team performance there as well. So from this email, they can dive right into the, uh, to the lead board. So this is kind of nudging the sales teams to have a look at the lead board where sales uh, are served the uh, qualified leads for them. Um, sales teams is also something that we've brought into eMarketeer. So from eMarketeer, you will now have next to the user accounts, you will have the ability to create sales teams. And you can create sales teams based on geography or product verticals or whatever makes sense to you. A team can be one person or several persons, obviously, and a person can be a member of several teams as well. So this is really flexible and you can build that as you see fit for your organization. The neat thing is here that uh, when you, you can assign the users that are already in eMarketeer and you can add new users from your super office as well. So when you're in, in eMarketeer, obviously you want to add the users you have in super office to your sales teams so you don't have to create users in two places. So when you're in the eMarketeer user account settings page, you will have all of the sales users listed in super office and you can go ahead and add those as, as sales users in eMarketeer and add them to a specific lead board. So that's pretty easy to do your user management there. Um, we've also added uh, obviously lead streams. So again, the lead streams are your way of filtering which leads go to which sales teams. So you can create as many lead streams as you like as you as you would like. If you're familiar with filters or lead scores in eMarketeer, they're done exactly the same way. So it's really pretty straightforward. Um, just go ahead and open up one here. I could give it a title and a description, 
and the lead rules are based on all of the filtering you can do in eMarkets here. So all of the engagement, all of the behavior, all of the scoring that you have tracked in eMarkets here, plus all of the profile information you have in eMarkets here, you can mix and match those to create your perfect lead streams and assign them to your sales team's lead boards. Lead boards. When a super office user clicks on the uh, the lead board, if they don't have access to the lead board, uh, there will be a notification saying that they can request access, and then the eMarketeer admin can add them as a sales user to the sales uh, to the to the lead board in super office. So that means that when you're logged into super office as a sales user, you will also be automatically locked into your specific lead board with single sign-on. So you don't need to log uh, into different systems. Uh, the lead board recognizes you, recognizes whether you have access to a lead board in SuperOffice, and you're good to go from uh, from uh, from there. So no need to log into uh, to different places there. All right, so that was really all of the stuff that we've been building. So the lead board and the sales teams in SuperOffice and all of the stuff that are associated with that, the new uh, the new week, new leads, uh, um, single sign-on into uh, the lead board, sales teams, sales users, all of this stuff has been added, new contact timelines, new company timelines, uh, and some technicalities behind the scenes there with the, with the, the super office integration. So a lot of stuff is has happened in, in this release. Um, so just let me talk about what happens to the current lead report and the current timeline that you may be familiar with if you're using eMarketeer for SuperOffice, because as we're rolling this out, there'll be kind of an interim period here where both things will be be there at the same <clears throat> sorry at the same time. Um, so um, I'll show you uh, how it will look what it looks like now if you have eMarketeer for SuperOffice and what will replace what you're currently familiar with. So today, if you have eMarkets here for SuperOffice, you'll be familiar with the lead report, where leads will be, uh, all of the contacts that are unknown to SuperOffice will be added to the lead board. Um, this is obviously being replaced with the uh, lead board, where all leads from marketing to sales are added to the lead board, regardless if they exist in SuperOffice or not, because it was pretty difficult to figure out um, where my existing leads that already existed in super office where they ended up if they weren't on the lead report because only new leads ended up there but the lead board does away with that everybody who's a qualified lead regardless if they're in the super office serum already or not ends up nice and neatly on the lead board focused on your sales team so that is um, um, something that's uh, that's coming after you implement this. And also obviously the funnel view where you can see the conversion from a sales uh, management perspective, to see how your team is doing. And from a marketing management perspective, see how your campaigns are stacking up to one another when it comes to conversion. Then the timeline on the mini card or the side panel as you've been familiar with in SuperOffice with, with eMarketia before, is uh, which was only on contacts is being replaced with the new company timeline and the new contact timeline and both of them have much more information than the old timelines and just the fact that you could look at it from a company perspective and a contact perspective is just really 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 neat we will also add uh, a, um, um, an automation queue so sometimes when eMarkets here tries to send over an, an automation to SuperOffice, it kind of has to pause. It has to be taken care of on the SuperOffice side from time to time. And you will have the automations queue where you can see which automations are waiting to get into SuperOffice. Maybe the contact of the company didn't exist in SuperOffice and you can, um, um, you can manage them from here. Obviously, if you take a lead from the lead board and add it to SuperOffice, uh, they won't also show up in the automation queue here. So this is kind of a main maintenance uh, area, if you will, and the lead board is really where you work and manage your, your leads. So all of this stuff is, uh, is uh, replacing the old uh, lead report and the old timeline. So the lead board, the stage view, and the funnel view, company contact timelines, and the um, uh, automation queue, all of that is bundled into this new feature set for you guys. All right. What do you think? I hope you like it. I hope you think that working with your leads 
in a much more organized way, much more focused way in SuperOffice would make it easier for sales and marketing to align and to communicate. Having a full insight as a salesperson into what my lead has been doing up till the time when I am trying to book a meeting or uh, uh, close a deal with them, really have all of the, his uh, the history there. It just makes me a much more effective salesperson and makes my dialogue with my leads much more qualified and relevant. And for marketing, being sure that you deliver the right leads to the right team at the right time is just really, really beneficial. And you can compare your campaigns and see how your different teams are converting the different types of leads you're supplying. So we really think that this is a huge step forward for um, uh, how we can bring sales and marketing um, uh, together in, 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 in utilizing the best of both worlds, the best of the capabilities of the CRM system and keep the users in there and the best of the marketing platforms, uh, uh, scoring, filtering and handing over leads into the CRM lead board there. All right, so with that, let's look. So that's already, all of what I've shown now is ready and uh, is ready and available for you guys. So let me know by replying to one of my emails or uh, uh, commenting here on the questions box that you wanna try this out. We will reach out and help you set this stuff up. You're not, as always, you're not left alone. We will help you set up your sales teams, your lead streams, get started with your first couple of streams and lead boards. Uh, so uh, we are sure that you get value from day one. It's a, it's a DIY tool, it's not complicated, but getting started on the right foot is really essential and that's what we're here for. All right, so let's look ahead and uh, what we are working on now and what we will be bringing to eMarketia later this year, uh, hopefully already before summer. Uh, that's what we're gunning for. Um, so just a big picture here of of of, of how we how we see eMarkets here and how we see how all of these things tie together. Obviously, at the very central focal point here are people. People we're trying to influence, leads we're trying to win over, or customers we're trying to keep around for longer, and all of the context we have with their engagement history, profile information, and so on, their scoring. All of that is central to eMarketeer uh, and to deliver that value into SuperOffice. And to do that, we have the marketing cloud, we have the email uh, landing pages, SMS, forms, mobile apps, all of the different tools that you know in eMarketeer to nurture, uh, bringing new leads, nurture new leads, uh, make customers become ambassadors by doing uh, relevant marketing to them and so on. And now with the lead management pieces, uh, with the new lead board and the sales and marketing alignment features here, we're bringing, really bringing that uh, tied together and all integrated into SuperOffice, of course. And then we have another box over here called journeys. And journeys are really a very powerful way of designing your customer journeys and designing your marketing automation and your campaign automation in a much more visual a way to organize what is happening to your contacts and I'll show you that in a second. And then at the very top there we have our enrichers that are filling uh, our contact and company cards with logos and profile images and uh, map information, history, uh, industry and all of that. We, we keep on working uh, on those and then we are after summer uh, going to <clears throat> Uh, work extensively, uh, intensively on signals, bringing leads into eMarketia from external sources. So your LinkedIn ads and your Facebook ads and other places, bringing those leads into eMarketia. So whether a lead comes from a, your email campaigns or a contact form or your uh, lead gen forms on social media, it doesn't matter. We can just bring them into eMarketia, automate on them, score on them, and hand them over to the right sales teams. So that is the full concept of, uh, of eMarketeer. Uh, as you know, the marketing cloud, lead management, sales marketing alignment, all of that stuff we have already built. It's there, the enriches are there, the CRM integration. Now journeys and signals are the next two pieces that we're working intensely, uh, uh, intensely on. And journeys, let's dive into that uh, for the remainder of the, the webinar here. Journeys are a visual representation of automations across your marketing channels, across your campaigns, and across eMarketeer and SuperOffice. So you can design your journeys completely as you like, and a journey is comprised of individual steps 
that takes a contact through a specific sequence of actions. So let's say we start up here by them requesting a demo, and then we follow up with an email, then we wait for two days, and then we send an SMS reminder, for instance. And these journeys might be very straightforward, or they may be very complex. On all of the nodes between the steps, you can add further journey components, uh, so much like your automations and your lead scoring capabilities in eMarketia, they will be part of the journey builder here, but also introducing some new logics like wait, if, else, uh, and obviously all of the super office automations that you're familiar with here, plus more to come. So when you build your automations, uh, build your journeys here across campaigns, uh, you can have a look at how many people are in the journeys, how many have completed the journeys. You can zoom in and out and pan around so you can see complex and large journeys close up. Um, new logics such as, such as wait and if else are really cool. So you can have eMarket here wait for a couple of days or a couple of hours or whatever fits your campaign and see if a contact has done what you expected. If not, if yes, they will go uh, in one direction and if no, they will go in another direction. So you can really pan out and, and um, uh, go into different directions and streams depending on what your contact, what your lead has done in your journeys there. So it's really, uh, really a powerful way. And we expect the first version, uh, version of this to launch before summer. And we already have pilots testing this out. So we're really, really curious uh, to get some feedback on that and really looking forward to airing that to you guys. And again, this is not just a uh, slide where it works in reality as well. Uh, so you will see I have journeys in, oh, let me get back to the marketeer here. Uh, maybe this is the demo devil playing tricks on me. Let me just dive into eMarket here and have a look at the journeys there. If I have colleagues on the line here that can help me out, if things aren't working, that would be great. Again, this is uh, um, this is early days. It's not launched. We're piling it ourselves as we're building it, but I just wanted to give you a little sneak preview of what is there already if I can. Right, so I'm in journeys. You'll see I have a new tab up here and here I have the different journeys I've created. Again, the, the, the user interface here is pretty similar similar to what you're used to in eMarket here. And I can open up this journey that I've started building and uh, I can see uh, how it is uh, set up here. So as, I'm, as mentioned, I can pan around and I can zoom in and out so I can see even really large journeys uh, up close. And I have the different journey steps here. So for instance, the first entry point, what makes a contact start this journey, I can decide based on filtering, scoring, behavior, profile, and lots more here. So everything that you can track in eMarket here can be your entry point into a journey. Um, then the journey starts off by sending an email, uh, waiting days, weeks, hours, whatever, depending on what my flow is. And then I can have these if else logics down here. So uh, did they evaluate? And the criteria is the evaluation form has been submitted. And if yes, I will create an activity in SuperOffice. Uh, here I have all of the automations that you're used to. Uh, in this case, it's a create activity, type other, and I can say follow up on evaluation. And if they haven't, I can send them an SMS reminding them that they need to evaluate. So that's just a simple flow using uh, eMarketeer automations, using wait and if else logics, and using super office automations um, alongside the, the journey here. Uh, as mentioned, across all of the nodes here, I can just click to add components uh, in my journey builder here. So. From right now, we have the create activity in SuperOffice, create sale in SuperOffice, add remove from project, add remove from selection, and add remove interest codes. So some of these you'll be familiar with from uh, eMarket Zero Automations. And then you have our contact update features, logics, and component sending capabilities there. So already a lot of stuff is in the uh, pilot phase here of the uh, 
of the journey builder. Uh, what separates journeys from uh, campaign automations is really that, as you can see, these journeys do not belong to a specific campaigns, to a specific campaign. They are they can go across campaigns and they work across the entirety of eMarketeer, and you can um, have things happen um, to the to your lead, obviously, into SuperOffice inside eMarketeer. And it just is a very powerful builder to create your customer journeys there. So, uh, yeah, heads up for that before summer. Uh, we are really closing in on being able to uh, open up to more pilot customers and launching this uh, pretty soon. So hugely uh, anticipated feature there that we are looking forward to bringing to market. All right. So we are almost at the hour, and uh, if you have any, any, any more questions, any more feedback, if you'd like to try this, now would be a good time to shoot me your questions in the in the questions box, or just let me know what you think of the features, even though that they're not for you. Do you think that they look worthwhile? Let me know. Um, I will be sending you the recording of the webinar in a short evaluation. Um, please do spend 30 seconds on the evaluation. Let me know what you think about the webinar and the features here and there you will also have an opportunity to sign up for um for the uh, new uh features that we've been airing today all right it looks like there are no more questions at this time if you're typing type fast and hit enter enter so uh i can uh take your questions on the uh, at the curtain fall here. If not, I just want to thank you uh, for your time. I hope to see you on an upcoming webinar in the, in the future. And more than anything, I hope to see you start using the lead management features for SuperOffice to really bring your sales and marketing team into a better aligned place where sales can benefit from knowing everything that a lead has done in their customer journey and only see the leads that are relevant to them. And for the marketeers to be able to compare their campaigns with regards to conversion rates in the sales team and deliver better lead quality to their sales colleagues. So, fingers crossed to you guys. Uh, um, when you start working on this, you're not alone. Our consultants and experts are here to help you out. So you get started on the right path with aligning sales and marketing. All right. Thanks for that. Have a great day, guys. And hope to see you on an upcoming webinar. Bye-bye.